Hi again, this time we'll have some iterations, uh, iteration functions for two lists and then we'll uh, have a look at searching lists. Now, the iteration, uh, we've learned these functions map and uh, iterate and map I iterate I fold left and fold, uh, fold right. For two lists, they're exactly the same, the function name is different, iterate two, and the input needs to be two uh, string two I'm sorry two lists rather than one list and basically the function now needs to have two arguments and the first argument corresponds to the first element of the list the second argument co corresponds to the f second argument of the list and it applies the function accordingly iterate it applies the function and that's it it returns nothing unit it, th it throws uh, invalid argument of the lists are of different lengths the map I uh, the same concept it apply a functions we need two lists, it applies, the function needs two arguments the, uh, the first one is from the first list, second one is, is from the second list uh, length needs to be the same and now it returns a new list and remember the function applies the uh, it applies on corresponding variables, so first one from first list first one from second list, second one from first list second one from second list and so on and so forth likewise for map i fold left i and fold right i i hope you remember video the last video uh, and you've learned how these work let's have a a, a a quick example for example on how to use the list of map i i'm still using uh, the top loop here so let's for example say let because map map i returns a new list so let's say map i and then I need a, an anonymous function now because we have two lists then the function applies to two arguments let's say for x and y or call them maybe i and j or anything and then for example return maybe i plus j and automatically it will work out that these are actually integers the first list is 4, 5 and 6 maybe second list is 7, 8 and 9 and notice that it will add corresponding elements so 4 and 7, 5 and 8, 6 and 9 and return the result in a new list I didn't say equal that's why it's complaining syntax error remember anything you use here you can use in your code um, function has type in da 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 okay let's have another look why is this complaining list dot map i function of i and j add i plus j and then we pass it to lists why is it complaining um, we have the f map 2 or not map i I'm sorry why do I use map i it's map 2 yes because we are applying it on two lists I'm sorry if I was saying map i or iterate i then it's map 2 iterate 2 and now you can see the result of adding 4 and 7 is 11 5 and 8 is 13 6 and 9 is 15. So the same thing, uh, uh, the same concept applies to the remaining functions for the iterators on two lists. Now moving on to list searching, we have a function called find, and basically find is similar to exists, where the one we used before. I think not the last video; it was the the one before, where we uh, where is exists, where we use this concept of yes, f of a predicate, but exists now returns true or false just a boolean whereas find it will return the element that actually satisfy that predicate um, so if we for example let's say for example let lx equals maybe um, a b a b sorry what am I doing b c C and D and then I can say list dot find it will return the element that receive that actually uh, satisfied the predicate so my predicate will be fun for example uh, X X will be will represent each element of this one at a time and I can say for example X equals maybe A, I can have any predicate, I'm just demonstrating the idea here and then I can pass it LX and it will return the element that meets that 
uh, predicate I'm saying x equals a so obviously it will return a but you can have any other conditions so for example if a if he, if this was a list of integers maybe 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and I say uh, x is larger than 0 then it will return the first one that meets that condition which is maybe 2 I hope you get the idea it will return the element that meets the condition here the predicate here you can have any predicate you want filter what it does is it returns all the elements now like similar to find but find returns the first element that satisfies the predicate whereas filter returns a list of all the elements so if the list has several elements that meet the predicate then they will be returned as another list a sub list of the original list otherwise it returns an empty list find all is similar to filter and partition splits the original list into into two lists one of them meets the predicate the other one doesn't I mean let's have a look at for example uh, filter and find all are the same so let's have a look at maybe filter quickly uh, let's have another list maybe L equals the easiest thing is integer so 1 2 3 4 5 6 and then we can say let L equals list dot filter and my predicate is anonymous function again you can use your own function and then use it here you can declare it somewhere and I can say for example x is larger or equal 3 for example this should return a sub list 3 4 5 and 6 and then pass it L as you can see here that these are the elements that meet the predicate now the partition it basically what it does returns a pair of lists L1 and L2 we pass it a predicate and a list L1 is the list of all the elements of L that satisfy the predicate P so L1 will be element elements that satisfy the predicate L2 will be the elements that do not satisfy the predicate so for example here L1 will be 3, 4, 5 and 6 whereas L2 will be 1 and 2 let's have a look list dot partition and then my predicate is uh, this and I'll, the list is L and double semicolon and I should have two lists um, by the way why am I getting an empty list here because I need to get one and two the elements that so don't satisfy ah I've, I've overwrote yes I have overwritten L that's why because I said let L equals yes so let's declare L again and now let's say for example let L1 comma L2 by the way it returns a tuple a pair of things and then I can apply that again list of partition I hope, I hope I'm making sense now and then we get we get we get two lists L1 and L2 L1 elements that satisfy the predicate L2 elements that do not satisfy that predicate hope this is making sense I hope you are enjoying are enjoying this remember OCaml lists are extremely powerful they're polymorphic you can store anything you can store maybe tuples you can store li list of lists inside them uh, you can store functions as we saw before maybe next time we'll or, or the one after we'll have a look at tuples and how we can manipulate them and that's how they work I hope this is making sense remember anything we use in the top loop you can use it in your code just say let da 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 equal da da in and then in your function or in your code or in anything you want to do in your OCaml code Thank you very much again for watching and I'll see you next time.